Puppet Configuration Management, Puppet Troubleshooting and Advanced Topics. The Roles and Profiles Pattern. VM1 running. The Puppet server should be running on VM1. And we are also going to use RTNK and our central repositories. For RTNK and the central repositories, please see the previous section. So I'm in the directory the git clone command created for me. Um, let's see the status of our Vagrant boxes. As you can see, I already have vm1 running. If this is not the case for you, please execute the command vagrant up vm1. After booting vm1, please connect with ssh to vm1 uh, with the command vagrant ssh vm1. And we're also going to open a root shell with sudo i. If this is the first time, as always, uh, you've booted uh, VM1, so please execute the quick start script slash vagrant quickstart.sh. This is going to install the Puppet server. Um, as we are going to use um, RTNK for deployments, uh, please execute slash vagrant examples puppet configuration management rtnk underscore setup.sh. This is going to install RTNK and it's also going to create the central repositories we're going to use in this video. So the installation script for RTNK finished. Let's go back to the presentation. So in this video, we're going to take a look at understanding the roles and profiles pattern for organizing Puppet code. Uh, what actually is the problem we would like to solve with the roles and profiles pattern? Uh, when the Puppet codebase grows, node assignments uh, get more complex. For example, there are common modules assigned to all nodes. And you're going to have um, modules assigned only to some nodes. For example, um, a system running Apache, another system running Tomcat, and a third system running MySQL. And there are modules assigned only to a specific server. Or, for example, a module assigned to more than one node should be configured differently between different nodes. For example, if you have a development database server uh, with a different log level than in production. These are the problems we would like to solve with, with the roles and profiles pattern. So, what are roles and profiles? Roles and profiles add two layers of abstraction between so-called component or base modules and the node classification. A node exactly one role. For example, a development web server. A role includes different profiles to build a complete configuration. The profile includes the component or base modules to configure a particular technology deck. So a picture says more than a thousand words. For example, we have a role dev web server. This is the puppet class role dev underscore web server we are going to assign to a node. Um, the role dev web server includes the base profile which does some base configuration of the system, for example, adding users we are going to need. And the dev web server role also includes the dev Apache profile, which configures the Apache module. So, for example, you can create a second role web server with production settings for Apache, and you're going to call the profile, for example, profile prod underscore Apache. The profile uh, prod underscore Apache is also going to include the Apache module, but with different settings. So let's look at an example. First, we're going to clone the central Git repository, which um, in, um, contains our control repository. Git clone git at localhost control dash repo dot git. This is the example control repository provided by Puppet. As this is the first time I'm going to connect with SSH with Git, um, it also asks me to accept a key for localhost. So now we have cloned the control repository. Let's take a look inside. I'm going to change the directory to the control repository. So the first thing we have to look at is the environment.conf file. As you can see, the environment.conf file configures the module path for this Puppet environment and includes the directories modules, site and the base module path. The most interesting part here is the site directory because in the puppet.com example control repository which we are using, 
the site repository contains examples for the roles and profiles pattern. So let's change into the site directory. As you can here, see, there's a role puppet module and a profile puppet module. Uh, when we look at the files in role manifests, there's an example role, a web server role, and a database server role. So we can look at the example roles, example.pp. There's currently nothing inside or the web server.pp. It includes currently only the base profile. So now let's look at the profiles manifests. There's currently a base profile and an example profile. So let's try to configure an example role which uses the PCM module, um, the Puppet Configuration Management example uses example module we've used um, in the previous section. For this, I'm going back into the home directory of the root user. This is also the repository where I cloned the control repository. So I'm going to clone this time not the control repository, but the packed PCM example user module we've created. So this is the example module we're going to use. Let's take a look inside pack pcm manifests init.pp and as you can see it only prints a message um, it's running in the environment and the pcm parameter has the value so the model like accepts one string parameter and the default value is value. So let's go back to the control module and let's create a role PCM where we would like to use the PCM module. And let's also assign the role PCM um, to VM1. So I'm going into control repository, the site directory and the role module. Then I'm going to change into the manifests directory. And I'm going to create the PCM.pp file, which is going to include the PCM role. So class role PCM and we're going to print a notify message. This is the PCM role. And we are going to include our profile base. This is the module we would like to include on every node. And we are also going to include the profile PCM, which is going to configure our PCM module. So now we have created the PCM role. Uh, what we're going to need now is also a profile. So I've changed into the directory in the control repository, the site directory, profile manifests. There's our base profile. Let's modify the base profile and let's print the message. This is the base profile. So we've modified the base profile. Let's also create a profile for the PCM module, pcm.pp class profile PCM notify. Let's also print a message. This is the PCM profile. And we're going to include class PCM here. And we're going to modify the parameter. Parameter should be PCM profile. So the PCM model should print a message with PCM profile inside. So class PCM parameter PCM profile. So now we have created the PCM role, which includes the base profile and the PCM profile. Uh, what we're going to need now is we need to assign the PCM role to VM1. So for this, we're going to modify. I'm now in just in the base directory of the control repository, and I'm going to modify manifest site.pp. And just for this example, I'm going to assign the PCM role to the default node. So VM1 will also um, get this role. So let's include the role PCM. So now that we've assigned the PCM role actually to all nodes, but we're only going to use it in VM1, 
let's see the git status. We have modified site.pp. We have modified the base profile to print the message. And we've also created a role PCM, which prints a message and includes the PCM profile and the base profile. So let's add site role manifest pcm.pp. Sorry, there's a typo. Git add. Git commit dash m created role pcm. Okay, this is the first time I'm using Git on this VM. I also have to configure my email address. Not exist.at. Otherwise, I'm not allowed to commit, to make a commit. My name is Tony Schmidbauer. So let's call git commit again to create the role PCM. So then we have the site profile manifest pcm.pp. We would like to add this to the git repository, the site profile PCM. This is the new profile and we've created. Then let's commit this. This time we've created the profile PCM. Then we've changed the site profile manifest base.pp and let's commit this as well. Print message in profile base. And let's also commit manifest site.pp git add because here we've assigned the role PCM to all nodes currently. And Inside the .pp, um, added role ECM to default node. Let's look at the git status again. We are currently clean. So we've created a new role, PCM. The role includes two profiles, the base profile and the PCM profile. They all print the message and we also assigned the, the PCM role um, to the default node. So I'm going to push this now. So the push was successful in the production environment, in the production branch. Now we're going to deploy this RTNK deploy environment dash PV. Once again, for more information about RTNK, please see the previous section. So it deployed the configuration to ETC Puppet Labs code environments production. Um, let's check if our changes are there. I'm going to change the directory to ETC Puppet Labs code environments production. So manifest site.pp. Here we assigned the role PCM. Then let's take a look at the site directory site role manifests PCM.pp. Uh, class role PCM. This is the PCM role, include profile base and profile PCM. And then let's take a look at the profile, site profile manifests PCM.pp. Here we included the PCM class with the parameter and the base profile where we just print the message. So one thing I did forget is when we look, there's currently no module installed. So we also need to install the PCA module. I'm going back into the slash root control repository directory. So I'm back here in slash root control repository because currently we assigned the PCM class in the profile, but we didn't install the PCM module. So what we have to do now, we have to add the PCM module to the puppet file. So I'm going to edit the puppet file in this case. So RTNK is able to install the PCM module. So I'm just going to copy the last three lines. So we've got the PCM module. It's located in a Git repository. And the URI to the Git repository is git at localhost packed dash PCM dot git and we are going to use the master branch. So let's take a look at the puppet file again. We would like to install the PCM module. We are using a git repository located at git.localized.pcm.git. 
and we would like to use the master branch. So git add puppet file, then let's call commit again. This time edit the PCM module to puppet file. Let's push our changes. So the production branch got pushed to the remote repository. And now when we call rtnk again, it hopefully is going to install the PCM module. So it should be usable from within our profile. So let's call rtnk again. rtnk deploy environment and it should install all modules um, from the puppet file with the dash p option. And it should also print both messages. So as you can see, it also successfully deployed the PCM module. Now we can um, start our Puppet server. So Puppet Resource Service Puppet Server. Ensure running. So the Puppet server is now in the state uh, running. And let's try to run the Puppet agent now. So this is the PCM role. So we successfully assigned the PCM role to Wim1. Um, this is the PCM role. Um, this is the base profile and the PCM profile also got included. And this is the PCM example module in environment production. And the PCM parameter has the value PCM profile. So if you would like to use the PCM profile or any other profile with a different option, we just have to create a new role, create a new profile, assign the, the profile uh, which configures the PCM uh, module with different options to the new PCM role, for example, PCM development, and assign the development um, PCM role to the nodes where we would like to use it. So useful uh, links regarding the uh, roles and profiles pattern. Um, the first one is the original um, uh, blog post which introduced the rules and profiles pattern. And the second one also includes some documentation by puppet.com about the rules and profile pattern and how it is useful.